Cotangent x is one of the six basic trig functions, so you want to have its derivative memorized. But if you don't know it yet, we can figure it out using the chain rule. You have to recall that cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, and that tangent is sine over cosine. This means that cotangent is the reciprocal of sine over cosine. That means it's cosine divided by sine, so we'll apply the quotient rule to find the derivative. So cotangent x, that's the same as cosine x over sine x, and to find its derivative, we'll use the quotient rule, which I've written here for your reference. The derivative of f divided by g is f prime g minus g prime f, all divided by g squared. Now in this case, our f, the numerator function, is cosine x, and our g, the denominator function, is sine x. We'll begin in the numerator with f prime g. f is cosine x, so f prime is negative sine x, and then we multiply that by g, which is just sine x. Then we subtract g prime f. g is sine x. So g prime is cosine x, and then we multiply that by f, which is cosine x. All of this is divided by g squared, so that's sine squared x. Now we just have to simplify. This is negative sine squared and negative cosine squared. So if we take the negative out, we'll have sine squared plus cosine squared. By the Pythagorean identity, we know that's 1. So taking the negative out of the numerator, we have negative sine squared x plus cosine squared x, and we know that is 1, so this is negative 1 divided by sine squared x. One last trig identity you need to know is that 1 over sine x, by definition, is cosecant x. Hence, 1 over sine squared is cosecant squared, and negative 1 over sine squared is negative cosecant squared x. And that is the derivative of cotangent x.